Previously on Recess. The only way to prove he's worthy of the title is to do exactly as I did when I was the prankster prince. You must pull a practical joke. I'm the reigning king! I'll never be able to pull a prank on you. You're just too good. Let this be a lesson to those of you who secretly think you can outsmart your king. <laughs> And now, recess. <laughs> well, well, a toy from home. Miss Fist will be so very happy to find out about this. No, please don't confiscate Hoppy. Too late. They <laughs> never do learn. Oh, man. This really, really, really wants. It's okay, man. Don't feel too bad. Something wrong, Detweiler? Huh? Oh, Randall, it's you. Yeah, something's wrong. For me, anyway. Well, what do you mean? You remember that Gerbil Scout raffle ticket I dropped on the playground last week? Yeah. And you picked it up in the Alfinders Keepers and Miss Finster let you keep it? Yeah, yeah, I follow. Well, I just found out it was the winning ticket. You mean I won? I never win, but I won! Woohoo! I won! Well, I win. You want a pair of supersonic air spring court shoes, signed by Jamal Van Johnson. Yes! Who's Jamal Van Johnson? Only the NBA's hottest shooter for the last three years going. World champ MVP, most rebounds in a single game, shoe in for the Hall of Fame. I love Jamal Van Johnson! Grand prize delivery for a Mr. Randall C. Weems. That's me, that's me! Give me that! Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Ah! <laughs> Prince strikes again! So there! Prankster Prince! Prankster Prince! Prankster Prince! Prankster Prince! Prankster Prince! I hate that kid. I hate him. But sire, just last month you said his whoopee cushion prank was brilliant. Never mind what I said. I'm telling you I hate him. Listen to that cheering. I never got that kind of praise when I was the Prankster Prince. And I was much more inventive. Now all I ever hear is TJ this and TJ that. And oh, TJ, your oatmeal puddle trap was simply sublime. Well, I've had it. Had it, sire? You heard me. I am the king. And kings are better than princes. Perhaps it's time I remind everyone of that. But how? Uh, perhaps you could issue a royal proclamation. Or make up a really neat jump rope, Diddy. No. Talk is cheap. I must show them. I must pull a prank on the prankster prince. <gasps> But, sire, that's against the law of the playground. Stupid law. Amend it. Now, let's see. If I'm going to sneak up on Detweiler, I'll have to go undercover. Yes, I have the perfect outfit in mind. Here, you take this. You're leaving the throne? But who will enforce the laws of the playground? Don't worry. Detweiler's an easy mark. I'll be back before the end of second recess. If anything comes up, cover for me. So I was poking around in the back of my dad's closet, and look what I found. Whoa. It's one of those old-time super bouncy flooper balls. My dad got it for his 10th birthday. They say those flooper balls bounce so fast they ricochet. That's because back in our parents' day, there were no safety limitations on synthetic toy polymers. Well, what are you waiting for? Throw it, Teach. Yeah, give it a real hard test bounce. Okay, everybody stand back. Before you throw it, Teach, mind if I touch it? Just once, to say I did. I'll do you one better, Gus. I'll let you have the first throw. Really? Wow, TJ! This is great! Don't worry, I'll be extra careful. Oh! <laughs> Just a little prankster rust. Nothing to worry about. We need to see King Bob. Sorry, kids, we're closed. We have a big hide-and-go-seek problem! Yeah, he's it! I'm not it! You're it! Am not! I too! Am not! Stop! The king is sick! He's in no shape to hear your silly problems today. Yeah, so come back tomorrow. But we need to know who's it! Okay, okay. Um, I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10. Is it 11? Yes! Haha, <laughs> so you're it. Now run along. <laughs> oh, it's not easy being king. There you are, my round little friend. I believe you have a rendezvous with wetness. Right? I'm beginning to think someone doesn't like me. It's not you they're after, Gus. Check it out. Who's laughing now? Detweiler. The banana peel? This water balloon? Those pranks weren't meant for Gus. They were meant for me. You want a piece of me? Go ahead and try. Because whoever you are, no one has ever gotten me. So put that in your prank.
can pull it! Then I lured Detweiler onto the catapult with a tasty golden turkey. And whammo! Bye-bye, TJ. Enjoy your trip to Saskatchewan. <laughs> now that's stupid. Robert, I hear cackling. Is your homework getting done? Yes, Mom. Aw, oh, jeez. Lost again. Okay, best 21 out of 40. Come on, Lawson, you big fat hogger. Give somebody else a turn. Gee, you know, you're right, Spinelli. I should let someone else be up. Now, let's see. Who's next? Oh, it's me. <laughs> That's it, Lawson. We're going to see King Bob. <laughs> A lot of good that'll do. What you talking about, Lawson? Oh, you'll see. She's coming. Come on, Jordy. Let's go. We want to see King Bob. Sorry, kids. The king needs his rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, man, this warps. The playground's all messed up, and Bob won't even see us. Hey, what's that? A big bag of money. That's it. Come to Papa. Man, oh, man, I've always dreamed of finding a big bag of money on the playground. A dream of mine that's widely known to friend and foe alike. Whee! They got me again! Sorry, Gus. Maybe if the so-called prankster were any good, he'd be able to hit his target. Eat, Dad! I just had a thought. I hope it involves a glass of milk. No, don't you see? It all makes sense. Fact one, King Bob has been missing for several days, resulting in a serious clog in the playground judicial system. Fact two, while King Bob has been gone, a series of pranks have been attempted on TJ, a.k.a. the Prankster Prince, a title that used to belong to... King, King Bob! So he's the one trying to prank me. Okay, two can play at this game. <laughs> then I lure Bob onto the catapult with the golden brown Cornish game in, and pow! Bye-bye, Bob. Enjoy your trip to Alberta. Listen, Teach, we gotta talk to you. Yeah, we've been thinking, and we decided you gotta take a dive. What? Don't you see, TJ? King Bob won't quit until he pulls a prank on you. And unless he quits, recess will be ruined forever. You gotta do it, TJ. It's the only answer. Sure. If the question is, what's the lamest thing I can do? Sorry, guys. I will not let King Bob prank me. Kids of 3rd Street, please welcome our school's new foreign exchange student all the way from Holland, Yahoozy the Mystic. Yahoozy? Hello, English-speaking children. And to your school, I am welcomed. <laughs> Behold, as I give you samples of wonder, I'm meeting a volunteer. You there, the be-hatted one. Me? Yes, your assistant scene, please. Well, what the heck? Do me a favor and keep an eye out for King Bob while I help the new kid. Boys and girlin, I will now be making your friend TJ disappear. Disappear, eh? <laughs> this ought to be good. In you are going. Wait a minute. That's no Dutch accent. TJ! Abra? It's Abra. <gasps> Observe your precious pranks to Prince, drenched in limo gelatin dessert. <laughs> Prince is pranked! Long live the king! Yeah! It's okay, Teach. Everybody gets fooled once in a while, even the pranks for Prince. If it's any consolation, TJ, being covered in a big blob of lime gelatin has always been my dream. Thanks, guys. But I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. TJ Detweiler, the king wants to see you. Here he is, sire. Excellent. Now leave us. <sighs> Guess you want to rub it in, don't you, Your Highness? Don't kid a kidder, Detweiler. I know what you did. You took a dive. Don't be silly, Your Majesty. I... You knew it was me all along. I could see it in your eyes. And yet you stepped into that ridiculous box anyway. No, it's not true. That was a great prank. A brilliant prank. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. I faked the whole thing. But it was for the good of the playground. It was nuts out there. Enough! You outsmarted everyone into thinking I outsmarted you. I appear to be the better prankster. And for a king, appearance is everything. Thank you, TJ Detweiler. You have done well. But tell me, how? How did you know it was me up there on that stage? Simple, sir. Yahoozy is the brand of the whoopee cushion I used to prank you. I knew I saw that word somewhere. Okay, that never happened. Don't worry, Your Highness. No one will ever know. I like that kid. Indeed I do.